teen mum can be the best thing in the world. Nobody knows what love is until they've had their own child. But it's never easy. Can I just speak for one second? That literally is me and him done. I love you to bits, always will do. I know I'm not going to get back with him. You need to let go. And you keep saying to me, I child am with me. I do everything and you do nothing. Oh, my God, Chloe. The majority of people are going to have a mortgage. I'm 17. My breasts weigh a stone. It just seems so small. You know you're not a bad mum. I just feel like I've got nothing I do is right. Hello. Anyone wants to be the jealous girlfriend? My whole life is a joke. You only slept with my ex best friend. I told you this was going to happen. I want you to marry me again. I'll run out of the peel. Mummy's pregnant! Yay! And life's about to get even crazier. I would never want to be with anybody else. Ow. Now I'm in absolute agony. I've got no friends who are bothering me or anything. Manny, I didn't need to do anything to you. I was absolutely fuming. It's not reality. This is about Brooklyn. Whose fault is that? It's mine. Ah! I just want us to get along. I deserve to be happy. I'm scared on my own. It'll be more romantic than the Titanic. Ah! are like a proper grown-up family now. Look at me, look at me. me, Malia and Manly have our own flat in Southampton. <laughs> and his first baby, Alea, comes over three days a week. Look at me, look at me. But living together isn't as easy as I thought it would be. I've stuck all these down here, yeah? It looks ugly with games underneath. Why, because it's not yours? Whatever. You need to get all that stuff in the hallway as well, because that is literally all yours. Manly's mum's coming over for the first time today. Yeah. Hi, Hi, little princess. Hi. Welcome. Lovely. Thanks, Mag. I really don't want her to see that we're not getting on. There's nothing nicer than your own thing. And I. Do you like having to do everything for yourself, Mia? Yeah, I love doing everything for my husband. Well done. She hasn't cooked once since he's been here. As you know. <laughs> Do you cook? Yeah. This one room would do the way it is now if it wasn't for me. I got up this morning with the baby, brought her down, cleaned all the house. Cleaned well, all the house? It was yeah. really different to when I went to bed. Well, well, I cleaned up everything, all the Chris and that. Well, yeah, your Chris that you sat and ate all the and sofa. Doesn't matter, I still clean it up. All the That's kids' okay. toys. She wakes up every morning, gets the baby dressed and just goes out. Doesn't do nothing in the house. Leaves her washing up. So say say we'll cook dinner tonight, yeah, so we'll leave the washing up to like next week. I still lost inside my tears, knowing What's the good things about living together? Ah, oh, we can have baths together. I hate baths. I'm still stuck behind my fears, knowing it's like sitting on the sofa and watching TV. Yeah. At together, night as a kid, isn't it? More negatives if you want to hear them. And um, what? I've got some more negatives if you want to hear them. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> fucking idiot. I don't know what's got into Manly. He's been snappy since we moved in. This isn't exactly happy families. It's too late now. The good news is I'm eight months pregnant with baby number two. Who's going to have a little sister? But the really bad news is that my engagement to Dylan's off again. We've sold the caravan and I've moved back to my mum's in Essex. And it's all because Dylan was acting like a party mad idiot. Some nights after work he wouldn't come home. He'd leave at half past eight in the morning and then I wouldn't see him five o'clock till the next morning. Dylan's at his mum and dad's and he wants us to live together again. But I don't trust him yet and I need to focus on the new baby. Love it. That would fit you. Look how big that is. I'm so tired Come here. <laughs> you make such a beautiful little girl as well. Oh, little princess. 
decided on a baby name? Is it something I'm going to like? Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> well, come on, then, spit it out, is it? Dulcie May. Dulcie? Yes. Well, like, as in Dulcie Shoes? No. <laughs> Dulcie and Gabbana is D O L C E, isn't it? Yeah. She spelt D U L C I E. I don't actually mind Dulcie May. You You're gonna... excited to have your little sister? <laughs> <laughs> the worst thing about this situation is my family's banned Dylan from the house because he treated me so badly. Right, let's call him. Here we go. Hello, you. <gasps> Who's that? What are you doing, Betty? Take the dummy out. <laughs> you go in bed. Since now I'm poking my tongue out at you. It's your bedtime, Stinky. <laughs> say night, night. Say bye, night, bye. Night, love you. Love you. Night, love you. Bye. Night, love you, bye. It's only a few weeks till the baby comes. And this isn't how it was meant to be. Life is crazy busy at the moment. Brooklyn's nearly two, and he is a massive handful. Stop it! <laughs> I'm juggling his terrible twos with a job in a cafe, and I'm saving for university. I spent months arguing with Brooklyn's dad, Steve, because he wouldn't let me move on. I was two months away at giving birth, and then I found out that he cheats on me. I wish I never slept with anyone. But finally, things are starting to settle down. Uh. Today, we've come to an animal farm. It's the first time me and Steve have done anything together oh, like this. Let me talk to you. Hopefully, we can have fun without falling out. <laughs> Daddy, he just <laughs> pointed at me. He actually just went, Daddy. <laughs> so, it's me with you. Nothing. Still got a girlfriend. Yeah. Wow. How's your love life? <laughs> <laughs> Crap. <laughs> oh. I'm glad that like, we're at the stage now where I, fe I feel maybe yeah, if I was to have a boyfriend, I could tell you. Oh. Yeah. Well, yeah, obviously, yeah, yeah. Right, from that face. I have a girlfriend, I don't have a right to say no to you, do I? No. I used to think we'd get back together. I was on my own, I was reminiscing on you all the time. I was sad, but it, well, that's how I did think. I just want to say sorry, obviously, from all the stuff. I can say sorry now, can't I? I can mean it. So, yeah, and now we're on good terms. I forgive you. I think that's the first time actually you say heard you say sorry. Yeah. Let's like pinky, promise, unlock it. No, lock it. Lock it. Like like that. that this is a brand new steel and amber. Oh. <laughs> he said sorry. Um, and it actually. I, I actually believed him. It's easy just to go, sorry, but it's how he said it, and I could just tell by his eyes that he actually meant it. Hi, my name's Sassy, and this is my boyfriend, Darren. He's so cute. I've been with him four years, and I love him to bits, but our relationship is fiery. <laughs> this is our beautiful baby girl, Zanea, and she's nine weeks old. I used to be a wild child, but having Zanae has changed me a lot. We live in Stockport and Darren's working as a roofer. I just love my new family. <laughs> On the cheeks. Tonight, it's mine and Darren's first night out since Zanae was born. I want to spend time with Darren, but for the first time ever, I'm nervous about going out. Is that all my face colours? Just a bit on that side. When she was only five days old, she had to go, she had to go in hospital, and she was in hospital for like three weeks. And since then, it's just made me cling on to her and not want to let her go. That's what 
really worries me really because I don't want her to get poorly. That's the last thing I want. She's so precious, look at her. No one, want, no one wants this little face to be sad. Oh la la, mamma mia! <laughs> <laughs> Too tight or no, it looks fine. It looks nice. Does it look fine? You won't say you've just had a baby, put it that way. Mommy's gonna miss you. Oh, I'm gonna miss her. See you later, Mum. See ya. Bye. I feel anxious already. Why? I've not even left yet <laughs> because I don't know. No. <laughs> It's great being out with Darren, but I can't stop worrying about leaving Zanea. I think I'm just going to ring your mum and just see how Zanea's doing. Yeah, all right. Yeah. Hello, is Zanea Hi. OK? Hello. Oh, look at her. Do you miss me? I miss you. <laughs> She's fine, doll. Right, okie doke. Nice. I'll see you later. See ya. Bye. Bye. My little bambino. Bless her. I, feel I felt like we're going back two years ago from when we used to go out for a drink and stuff like that. But I do really miss Zane. I know I keep saying it, but I actually do. You're home in the next hour. I just, I don't know why, but I feel like... You want eggshells? Yeah. You just need to... Loosen up. Yeah, loosen up a bit and just think, yeah, she's in safe hands. We had to have time apart because we are arguing so much. Morning. All smiling, happy family. Cheers, girls. We'll be back together soon. Maybe. It's you not. don't do nothing. Finally, that's not true. It is true, though. But how are we going to sort this out, then? Well, I don't know. My baby boy, Marley, is nearly one. He's flexible like me. He's a little gymnast. Hey, Mama. Yeah. I've got a job in a baby shop in Nottingham and I'm learning to drive. Oh, that's old. But things with me and Jordan haven't been good. We just can't stop arguing. I'm ill. I don't want to go to a farm. That's fine. That. You just ruined Jordan. No, you're everything. being rude. You ruined. I do everything and you do nothing. We're still together, but Jordan's moved back to his parents. It makes me sad that it, that he had to go, if that makes sense, that we had to have time apart because we are arguing so much. I don't want him to come back here and go back to square one and argue him because I want it to work for Marley's sake and I know Jordan wants it to work, so we'll just have to see. It's Marley's first birthday in a few days. What shall I wear? Uh, it needs to look good for your first B-day. I want to make it the best celebration ever, so today we're going for a family photo shoot. But Jordan's not impressed. I'm excited. I just, yeah, I just want to get over with Why? I'm really excited. Marley! Hey. Hey. for me. <laughs> That's it. Good boy. Well Molly. <laughs> Just look at Molly for me. Uh, <laughs> so that one is your favourite. Isn't it yours? No, I prefer the top one. Yeah? So you're going for that one? Yeah. Yeah? Some her at the end of the day. <laughs> All smiling, happy family. Yeah? Okay. Oh. I'm buzzing that me and Steve made our pinky promise to put all the rows behind us. And I'm celebrating with a night out with the girls. How's the whole Steve's new girlfriend situation working out for you? I hate to say it, but like, I'm jealous. I want like something in the films like happened to me. You know, you watch all these romantic films like and it's like, oh I get so jealous. I just want to like throw my phone at the TV like <laughs> or I just want to jump into it and pretend it's me. Like I just want a fairy tale. 
So if you, if you want to walk into my life anytime soon. <laughs> Sometimes it seems like I'm the only girl in the world that's not loved up. Why is it that you are like still single, isn't it? Like, like, I'm there. I just find that very hard to believe that like lads don't want to speak to you. Like, because I think I get too like, I'm not like any other girl. I want to sit and be like. And then we'll sit there and eat ribs and have them all over her face on the first date. I'd sit there and wait to see her be like, sorry. <laughs> Go girlies, you need to help me. Dylan's trying to prove to me that he's changed. He's even got a new job. Kenzie, I don't think all of our stuff is going to fit in here, you know? Because you have got too much stuff. And this weekend, he's taking me and Mackenzie to a caravan, just like the old days. Give Dylan a chance to prove to me that he's sort of maturing a bit more and stuff like while we're away. <gasps> what did you do that for? Hello. Oh, do you want to come outside? I've got a surprise for you. OK, let me get the baby in a blanket and I'll come outside. One second. Bye. <laughs> Why are you in a BMW? <laughs> yes. And went and picked up our new car. <laughs> I'm so confused. Like, I don't Hello, understand my boy. where you've got money from to buy it. Because I've got a good job. Car. Kenzie, sit in here. I don't believe this is actually like yours. It's not mine, it's ours. Honestly, good. I don't you. Say wow, my boy. Look at all the buttons for you to press. It's got heated seats too. Oh my god, you're out of control. It's got a sat nav. Oh, so we're taking this up there then? Yeah, we'll go oh. in here. <laughs> okay. Wanna go get your stuff? Yeah? You wanna stay with daddy? Oh god, it's freezing cold. Is that Dylan's new car? What do you mean Dylan's new car? <laughs> yeah, that's what I said. Well, has he bought that? I don't know. <laughs> it's a cool car, but it won't convince my mum that Dylan's more responsible. Let's go! He's bought BMW. Apparently this is on finance. It isn't a family car. He's going to be rolling around like a single lad with his really expensive car, like an absolute baller, while Megan's here with two babies. He needs to stop thinking, because clearly his logic of thinking is mm. way off. Yeah. How is this all going to work, like, at the hospital and stuff? with my family. Well, if I'm there, they'll either have to speak to me or ignore me, cos I ain't leaving cos they're coming. Am I? It's the same when you get your own place, isn't it? Yeah, but do you not want to sort it out? I'll just be polite, that's all I can I do, just yeah. don't want to be in the hospital and then be stressed because everyone's hating each other and arguing. Well, I ain't going to argue with them. There's no point. Where's an argument going to get us? OK, well, I'm just saying. We'll be back together soon. Maybe. Our happy honeymoon is over. Since Manly and me moved into the flat, we just don't seem to be getting on. Are we going to have a chat? About what? Me and you. In my point of view, you just get moody about anything and everything. You know, when you annoy me, if you just left me like a couple of hours and then come back and start being nice to me, we'd be fine. But I'm not going to be in a relationship when you get in a mood with me and I don't talk to you for a week. 
you're more of a go out person and be with your friends. I'm more of a family person. Don't, don't sit and say that you're a family person and I'm the one that wants to go out. Well, that's not true. It, because it, you know it's, it's true. not. Mia, it's you not. don't do nothing. You sit You sit here, you, you cook yourself dinner and go see your friends and do whatever. You don't ever sit here and do things as a family. I'm always sat in this flat by myself. Marley, that's not true. It is true, though. I've been out three times since I had Marley. We've you... sat in this flat, like, what, maybe three, four times since we've lived here and actually had dinner together. Or going out doing things with Malia, never. Clearly, like we got... both just want different things. No, in life, it's like, yeah. no, that's not true, man. You crave too much attention. I don't no, care. No, that's attention, not true. Man. Yeah, it is. It is oh, true. Oh, my God, you've been out the same amount of times as right, I have, man. Yeah, Manny. keep, keep saying that. You see that, your yeah. friends more than I see my friends. <sighs> All right, Mia. We can't have conversations, this is what I mean. So, this is why I don't talk to you. And you wonder why, because th this is exactly why. Every single time we go to have a conversation, this is why. Yeah, and I don't know why. Right. Well, this is why I don't talk to you, innit? How are we going to sort this out, then? Well, I don't know. What do you do when you love someone so much, all you want is to be with them, but... It doesn't work. Every day is an argument and it's miserable. But I love him. I don't know what to do. Throw a party and the scene someone. He's got to be an adult, he's got to step up. He needs to be a man. You should be happy to be home. Literally, doom and gloom. I deserve to be happy, but not just him. It's amazing how life can change in just 24 hours. Last night, I went out again, and I met a boy. When I feel bad. He was out of his friends, I was out of mine. And it was really nice. I don't think I've been this happy in quite a long time. I've only just met Alex, but I've got a feeling this could be something special. Hopefully, like, yeah, things turn out bigger and, like, in about maybe five months, I don't know, like, I could actually be saying I've got a boyfriend. So when other boys approach me, I'm like, eh, don't come near. I've got a boyfriend, I'm taken. Throw a party and the seeing someone. So yeah. To live and learn along the way. Today me and Alex are going on our first proper date. I suggested something fun so we can get to know each other without any awkward silences. But I'm still nervous. Hello. Hi. You alright? Yeah. I haven't been asked in ages. Oh, so you've been before? Yeah. You can go for her. Yeah. That was close. <laughs> like, tall and deep, step back. Right. I can, like, go first. I'm like Bambi, something. and you're just showing off. I don't understand how you do it. It's the most complicated thing I've ever done. How about I, I push her? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, it was bound to happen. I've got my bum. Are you checking out my bum already? No. 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 Oh. Getting nervous. It's all right. Ooh, it's the first it. day after all. I'm like always like dead. Yeah, like scared like meeting new, like new people. In the past, I have the stay as well. Like he's a big part of like I haven't ever like settled down. Yeah. Because he's always been quite clingy towards me, shall I say. He's got a girlfriend now, so it's um, a bit different. So, so I don't feel like... Sort of him moved on a bit. Yeah. So sort of move on. Exactly. So, like, obviously, when I'm here with you today, I don't feel like, oh, God, what's he going to say about it, blah, blah, blah. My burp. For the first time in ages, I've got butterflies. Right, I'll do a hug. Right. right, we'll um we'll plan a second date. Okay, sounds great. 
I'll speak to you soon. Okay. Bye. Bye. I'm really excited to see where this might go. It's Marley's first birthday tomorrow, but it's all falling apart again with me and Jordan. He's still being grumpy and we've had a stupid row. Hey, how are you? Good. Yeah. What? Just had an argument this morning. He wouldn't get up. Why? Because Marley needed changing, Marley needed feeding. I said to him, just go feed him and change his bum and I'll, I can clean up. Like, the room was disgusting. It was just, there's just clothes everywhere. So I said, just go do that. No, I'm tired, no. I've had him all week, Marley all week. I've been to work as well. Like, he's been to work, what's his excuse? Like, I understand he's still, like, a boy, but he needs to be a man, do you know what I mean? He's got a baby now. He's got to be an adult, he's got to step up. I just don't know what to say about it. You and Jordan having these stupid arguments, and they are stupid arguments. Mum, tell me about you saying things that I already know, like... I really don't want our wrath to spoil Marley's special day, but I'm not going to be the one who says sorry. I'm gonna apologise. Are you? No. I didn't do anything wrong. Whatever, sorry. For what? For doing nothing wrong. Would you want me to sleep here? Do you want to sleep here? Mm-hmm. Well, apologise. <laughs> I'm apologise. Tell, tell me why you're apologising, though. That is what I actually want to know. Like, so why? you'll shut up, that's why. Well, no, that's not good enough. Yeah, it is. I want you to know that you upset me and that what you did was wrong. I'm sorry for upsetting you. Are you going to make me some dinner? This weekend is Darren's birthday, but he's jetting off to Amsterdam on a lad's weekend without me and Zanea. I love that aftershave and I don't like taking it. Special occasion, isn't it? But it's not a special occasion. <laughs> How love. do you feel about going here excited? Excited, yeah, but when I miss little Zanier in there. I can't believe he's actually going. Nobody's alive. Are you gonna miss me, baby? You don't want me to go, do you? He's me saying I don't want it to go, not at all. You're hating on me. I am, I'm jealous. You're not even spending your birthday with the people you're meant to love the most. It's the middle of the night and I'm still away. Where to draw the line between now and day. Mm -hmm. Have a good time. I'm just seeing you now for two days, baby girl. I'm gutted Darren's gone. And I can't help thinking I would never do that to him. I thought me and Steve had moved forward, but it looks like we're just back to square one. Steve's seen stuff about Alex on social media, and he's rung up and he's called me horrible names. What's the matter? Fed up. My, what's, what's happened now? He's just kind of found out about that lad I went out with. What's he been saying to you? Just really horrible things, and that's what's brought me down. So what are you going to do if he doesn't apologise? Because you have to pick Brooklyn up and vice versa, he brings Brooklyn to yours. I can't do it. Like, I'm going to start crying. Like, I can't do it. Like, I can't do it. He makes me so miserable. I know, Amber, I know. I know your past and all the rubbish you've had off him. I mean, can I do anything? I deserve to be happy. And not just him. I know, I know. Give me a love. No, it pisses me off.
Why are you allowed a girlfriend, but I'm not allowed a boyfriend? <laughs> Just my edges. He's like, I feel like he's chill, like two years old. He's still trying to control my life. I wish he could just be happy for me for once. He's always trying to bring me down. Like when he when he knows I'm happy, he tries to bring me down. It's like he can't bear to see me happy. And I just feel sorry for Brooklyn. You know, I don't want Brooklyn like going like having parents what I like, argue all the time. He doesn't deserve it. I think it's stupid. I just want to be happy. And I just feel like it's just, we're, we're always going 10 steps forward, but then we're always coming those 10 steps back. I just don't think there's ever gonna be like closure to me and Steve, which I do really, really want. The least you can even say is thank you. You didn't even say that. Well, you're doing my well, edit. Shut up then. Don't come saying to me that the reason why me and you don't get along is because we don't go on family days out when we planned it and you didn't come. Yeah. Bye, 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 Daddy. Daddy always comes back. Happy first birthday, baby. <laughs>
Ready? Ready? Mummy, get these ones. Kenzie, get these ones. Get these ones. Ah. Say, so put the money in, Mummy. We're all too fat. We all too fat. <laughs> not we all. No, Mackenzie, do not press no, any button. <laughs> Let me see. <laughs> well, that didn't work. No. How many beans do you want? As many as you want to give me. <laughs> it's so cosy being back together in a caravan. It's weird, isn't it? How you can miss it. Mm. So if I got a big one here, you move back in with me. Well, no. What do you mean no? Because I told you. It would be ours. I know what you're like. What do you mean? We'll talk about it now, and then you go out and buy one next week. Exactly. Look at you laughing. It's the goal to have our own land and our own one of these by the time he's five. If you're still in my good books. If I'm still in your good books. It's not hard to get out of your good books. No, exactly. Kenzie says yes. <laughs> <laughs> What's he doing? Say bye, 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 Daddy. Bye, Daddy. Daddy always comes back. Go ahead, you can try. I'm so angry with Darren. He left me alone looking after Zanea and he didn't seem to care about his surprise birthday party. You didn't even say thank you. No kiss, no hug, no all. Oh, that's so nice. Nothing. I ran around all morning, get your balloon sorted, get you a cake. The least you can even say is thank you. You didn't even say that. Never did. You didn't say nothing. Never no, did. you didn't. Did. Do me head in. Yeah, but I'm doing your heading. Well, shut you're up. doing my well, heading. Well, shut up then. Shut you're up. doing my shut heading. You've done my heading the way shut you behave. When I've, I've tried shut to do something nice shut for you, when you've been me. away for two days. Just rude. Yeah, rude. Rude. It is really yeah, rude. Yeah, OK. But do you know what? Next year, we'll not even do nothing for you. We won't even buy you a card. Yeah, good. <laughs> I won't. At least we'll have to read the front of it. It's really hurt me because it was his first birthday as a dad and he weren't here. <laughs> so then I tried to make up for it and he's just threw it and threw it all back in my face. Manly wants to spend more family time together, so I thought we could take Malia for her first ever swimming lesson. Manly. Manly. But Manly's sulking again and he won't speak to me. Manly, are you sure you don't want to come? <laughs> he thinks that we need more family time, um, which will miraculously sort our relationship out, apparently. Um, and he's now decided that he doesn't want to come. Malia, who's it's going to affect, especially in the future. Like when she's when she's older. What happens when I've got a, like, I've got a picture? I'm like, Malia, this is your first time swimming, and she'll be like, Oh, was my dad there? And I'm like, Oh no, he wasn't because he was in a mood with me. Are we always at your swimming lesson? Yay! What if you do a pool pool in the pool? Little Marley is a water baby. Manly doesn't know what he's missing. an amazing time with Malia. I just hope Manny's out of his mood. Okay. Ow. I mean, baby. She was like a mermaid. Do you regret not going? No. Why? I have to take it by myself. 
Well, so is that it for family days now then? Mm. So is that it for family days out then? Clearly. So why didn't you come then? Because I didn't want to ruin it for Malia. And if I come be just argue. Okay, but cool, but that's, it's not about me. It's about your daughter. If she's got a planned swimming lesson, you can't just not come because of me. Just don't come saying to me that the reason why me and you don't get along is because we don't go on family days out when we planned it and you didn't come. Yeah, right. OK, well, this is why I don't do nothing with you, because I don't like you and I can't stand being around you. Oh, whatever. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> well, I'm going out now. See you later. tried on eggshells about what I'm gonna say just in case he gets in the mood with me. Obviously I love him and I want to be with him but I just can't do this stuff anymore. I'm really happy. Me and Jordan have made up just in time for Marley's birthday. Happy first birthday baby. Ugh. Happy birthday. There's your dad. George, say happy birthday to Marley. Mm. <laughs> He's miserable. <laughs> yes, he is. You and Jordan all right now? Yeah. Yeah? Fine. He apologised. Yeah? Mm -hmm. That was yesterday. Today's today. Yeah. All right, then, as long as everything's OK. Let's crack on. I'm going to take some food in for Mum and Grandad, see if they what they want. Shall we open some presents? Yeah. Too big. That's you. We love you. On family days like this, I feel really happy that me and Jordan decided to have a baby at 17.